السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أذكركم ثانية إن شاء الله بعد الفصل سأبقى في في الفصل الكبير في القاعة الكبيرة وأكون في خدمة من يحتاج إلى مساعدة anybody who needs help I'll be there for an hour إن شاء الله تعالى in the class after anyhow so we were talking before about the advice that people of sincere genuine and courageous counsel gave to this celebrity and this wealthy person, Qarun. And the first advice was not to be overwhelmed in, or not to be overly excited about his wealth. The second bit of advice, وَابْتَغِي فِي مَا أَتَاكَ اللَّهُ الدَّارِ الْآخِرَةِ Pursue, وَابْتَغِي is a command form. And the command is used in the Arabic language not just to tell someone what to do, but also to suggest to someone what they should be doing. Advice is also given in the Amr form. So the suggestion given is, you should pursue in whatever Allah has given you. Fi ma atak Allah in whatever Allah has given you. Adar al akhirah, the the final home. The advice here is Allah has given you a lot of opportunity. He's opened up a lot of doors for you that He hasn't opened for others. That means you should be investing this extra opportunity to build your home in Jannah. If Allah has facilitated the building of your home in dunya, then you should be even in a better position to build your home in the akhirah. Invest even more. Do even more. Allah wants to see what you do with the gifts you've been given. So a person of wealth, you know, there's two directions their thoughts can go. They can think to themselves, you know, what happens with people that don't have any concept of deen. Once they have money, either they think about how can I get more money, or they go into politics, how can I get power. Right, so they either take the direction of money, or they take the direction of power. And that's, those are the two places they want to, and power could be social and celebrity and all of this sort of thing, or political power and things like that too, influence, right. Those are the two aspirations they get. What Allah is saying for the person of wealth within the Muslim community, when you reach a position of wealth, then your concern should be, how am I going to build Jannah using this wealth? How am I going to build, you know, leave a lasting legacy that serves the deen, and therefore, as a result, builds my akhirah? So our, you know, the concept of our entrepreneurship is not just entrepreneurship for the sake of making money, but also creative entrepreneurship in serving the ummah, in serving the deen and exhausting ourselves and becoming contributors in some way. And that's the career goal of every Muslim. You know, like an aspiring... I tell Muslims they should be, we should be the best at any career we you know, endeavor into. Some, all, all of your Arabic students, some of you are going to go into medical studies, some of you are going to go into business, some of you are going to go into whatever other, you know, engineering, whatever else. Be at the top of your field, but then that's not your goal. Your goal isn't to be at the top of your field. Your goal is be at the top of my field so I can serve the deen in X, Y, Z way. Your, your goal isn't your career. That's everybody else. Everybody else, they, all their life amounts to is that career. Our goal is service at the end. How are we building our akhirah once we've, you know, we excel in our fields? And actually I say personally to Muslims, they should aspire to have awesome careers so that they can be part-timers in their careers. They should be so successful that they have to do very little in terms of dunya, so they can exhaust most of their energies in terms of deen. Because you know, when you are, when you're working uh, and you barely ate, make ends meet, you're just working enough so you can survive and pay the bills and all of that, and some people are in that situation, then they don't have any time to do anything outside of that. They're just exhausting all of their energies, just surviving day to day. And Allah has put some people in that test. But then there are others who have what they call nowadays disposable income. They have a little extra. They have you know, the opportunity, they could take 80 hours and make 10 times more money, or they could do 20 hours and still live well. They, could, they don't have to do 80 hours. They can do 15 hours. They can be like that too, a week, you know. When people reach at that career, then that's not the time to take the extra vacations. That's the time to get busy contributing, doing something for Allah, doing something for this deen, investing that extra money and that extra energy and that extra opportunity to create something that will help the Muslims you know, and help the community at large reach a better state. That's the thought process that if enough of us had, enough of us were thinking along these lines, then we would just look like a different nation. We just look like a different people. Because we'd have enough people wanting to make this ummah, and by extension the world, a better place, it will start turning into a better place. It'll, 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 and it's not like every, this is the last thing I'll share with you, it's not like, وَابْتَغِي فِي مَا أَتَاكَ اللَّهُ دَارَ الْآخِرَةِ This intention, I want to build my house in Jannah in this that Allah has given me, 
the way in which I'm going to pursue that is not going to be the same as the way in which you're going to pursue it. We're all going to be inspired and guided by the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam and the, the awesome seal of the Messenger Wasallam. But the talents I've been given are not the ones you've been given, and the talents you've been given aren't the ones I've been given. You, each one of us will have to chart out our own career path of building our house in Jannah. What is going to be our contribution? What is going to be the, the thing that we do? You know, and you, all of you, especially the younger guys here, you have to seriously ask yourselves this question. You are now at the stage in your life where your, your accountability, your, your, your mas'uliyah has begun now. And you have about basically 40, 50 years to do something with your life. And then is retirement after that. And you're looking back at your youth and saying, I wish I did this or that or that. <coughs> this is the time to get stuff done. You, know? you have to be in that mode now. So don't just think, what am I going to do two years from now, three years from now, five years from now? Have a plan. This is what my life is going to look like. So when I look back, I can say, this is what I gave myself to. This is what my energies were focused on. And Allah Azza wa Jal give all of us a clear sense of direction and guide the direction that we take and make us contributors in this. Ummah barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Hakim wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa dhikr al-Hakim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.